Welcome everyone, this is Lisa Torres here with the Prosperity Team Hangout and we are excited uh, for the Hangout that we're going to be sharing with the information that we're going to be sharing with you tonight, which is basically how to leverage other people's success stories create by, by creating your own. Okay, how to create your own success story by leveraging other people's success story. And from, you know, a lot of people that I have spoken to over the over the few past few months really always struggle with this thing, right? So that's what we're going to talk about tonight. But before we get into that, let me introduce myself because I know that there's a lot of new people uh, here on this hangout tonight. Um, this is probably the oh, I'm getting a background feedback. Hold on. <laughs> okay, that's better. Oh, that was weird. That was funky. All right, so my name is Lisa Torres. Uh, if you are new here, we want to welcome you. If you're on our team, we want to welcome you. If you are, uh, we're invited here by our guest tonight, Aaron Rashkin, and you're on his team, we want to welcome you as well. Um, you know, we're all just one big family. It doesn't matter whose team is on who or anything like that. We're just one all big family of internet entrepreneurs who are forward, you know, forward thinking men and women, you know, that are just basically trying to build our business online. Well, not trying, building our business online, excuse me. Um, so we do this hangout every single Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern time, basically just to uh, provide value to the community because there's a lot of people struggling, um, you know, online when it comes to building. Hey, Lisa, I don't know if you can hear me, but sound just completely cut out on your end. Oh, how's it now? I hear you on mine. You hear me on yours? Chad, you still hear me? Yeah, I, I hear. You guys can hear me good? Okay, so you know we, we we bring these hangouts to you uh, every single Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern time, really just to add value to your life and to your business, so that you could just take the information that we share with you and you go apply it to your own business. Okay, so there's people in here that are using our system here, the Empower Network. There's also people here that have their own network marketing companies that they're trying to build, but they just don't know how because they're you know, they're doing things that just simply don't work. And that's what we're here to share with you uh, when we do these hangouts. So tonight, as I said before, we're going to show you and teach you exactly how to leverage other people's success to create your own success story. Uh, and with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and introduce uh, our superstar birthday boy, <laughs> our superstar birthday boy, Seven-figure earner in this industry, inside of our system, the Empower Network, Aaron Rashkin. Everybody say happy birthday wherever you are. Say happy birthday because today is his birthday, so it's a very special day, and I'm just honored to have him here to hang out with us tonight on his birthday. So, Aaron, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, thanks so much, Lisa. Can you hear me? I can hear you just fine. <laughs> All right, good, good. Yeah, the sound cut out there for a minute on my end. I wasn't sure what was going on. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm excited to be here. I appreciate the invite. And, uh, yeah, it's cool to hang out with you and Chad. And, you know, it is my birthday. And, um, you know, one of the things, that, one of the gifts that I gave myself was really the gift of giving back. You know, it's one of the things I love about our business. And that's why I got into business because I just love people and just love giving back. And I just want to give people everything that I have so that they can turn around and create the best life for themselves. So I uh, appreciate the offer to be here. And, you know, I know I, I've got about 15 people on their way to my house right now to meet up for a uh, little pregame, you know, activities before we go out for a big dinner in a little bit. But uh, I definitely wanted to spend a little bit of time with you and, and uh, the team here. And, you know, I invited my own, you know, my own uh, guests as well. We, thousand plus people watching right now from all around the world and getting to know us and, and things that we do to help them. So it just uh, it worked out perfectly tonight. Awesome. Um, let me just see something really quickly because I think I'm getting kind of a little feedback here. Okay, yeah, I'm not I on paused, the, I paused the other side. Yeah, we're having a little funky connection here, so I hope everybody's hearing and seeing us uh, just fine. So, Aaron, let me let me um let me just kind of 
ask you a couple of questions or, or you know, just kind of pick your brain um, because I know that you have been such a huge inspiration, not only in my business, but in so many other people's businesses. Um, you've actually been a silent mentor to me. Um, I'm always following you and digging into what you're doing and just really just admire the success that you and Sophia have created for you and your family. Um, Sophia, by the way, guys, if you don't know, is his wife, and he's got two uh, beautiful children um, you know, that, that, that they're raising together full-time from home, uh, creating the kind of lifestyle that we all just, you know, just, you know, we, we want to have, right? And so what I want to share um, or what I want to ask you is what is it that when, when, when it comes to sharing success stories, right? People, when I have spoken to people, I don't know about you, but when I have spoken to people, they really don't understand the concept of share, taking somebody who has gotten a result, right? Because really, I mean, we've heard this, this phrase before, facts tell, stories sell. And it can't be further from the truth. So what is it? How do you get somebody who is, start, is just starting a business, has never created any kind of results in their business, whether it be generating a lead or getting a sale or or getting a little small following or whatever it is, how do you take that new, new person who's never had any kind of success whatsoever and get them into going out there and finding success stories and using the, so, the success stories that they find uh, within their business, within the same business that they're in, and then transitioning it to themselves to go out there and market that success story so that they can in turn get a result for themselves, whether it be a lead, new a new yeah. new customer, a new person on their team or whatever it is, what would that transition what does that transition look like to you? Yeah, what absolutely. I, 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 I totally get it. First thing, I, I want to say something really quickly before I get started and I, I answer your question. Um, not only do I appreciate you having me here, but I just want to let everybody know that's watching that you know not only are you, Lisa, just a tremendous inspiration to me, um, but I also know that you're a tremendous inspiration to your team and to all the members and the, and the affiliates in our community, but also the people that are here watching you from all over the world, as well as Chad, because you guys, you know, you guys are the leaders um, that other people are looking for, and I, I encourage anybody that's following you to, you know, tune in, plug into your station, and pay attention to everything that you guys are doing. Now, Thanks, I say that for two reasons. Number one, because that's how I truly feel. And number two, because that, what I just did, is actually one of the biggest keys to success. It's called edification. And edification means that you find something that you like about a person who has already had the success that you're looking for, and you share their story with other people. And so edify, if you break down this word edify, Lisa, um, and I don't know if uh, it's just my computer or not, but I'm only seeing you on the screen, so I don't know if the viewers actually are, are seeing, um, you know, me as I'm speaking. I don't know if they're able to see my video or not. Are you able to okay, see? I just I just clicked on yours only, so they should only be seeing you right now. Oh, okay, yeah, I only see you, but and that's not a bad thing. I'm just saying, <laughs> I, I just see you right now. So, um, okay, cool. So the word edify, right? If you break it down into into its letters, right, and an acronym for edify stands for this. E-D-I-F-Y, every day I find you, right? The word edify, right, it means every day I find you. Now, if you find something about a person or if you find something about a company or about a product or about a tool or about a system or about a community or about the culture or about the training and the support, right, which is all of the things that you're looking for in a successful business venture, Right? If you look for the things that you like about it, then you can tell other people about those things. And that's called edifying you know, whatever it is that you're talking about. So I could say something like, you know, Lisa is one of the best trainers in the business. Right? She has more knowledge and education about how to drive traffic, generate leads, and make sales than just about anybody I know. Right? Or Chad's in a, a tremendous inspiration because he now works full time from his home and he doesn't have to have a job anymore because he knows how to use his skill set on the computer and he's one of the most knowledgeable people that you want to pay close attention to. Right? So I'm edifying Lisa, I'm edifying chat. Right? And when you tell other people's stories, right, you're going to attract the attention of the people that you're looking to market to. Now you obviously have to tell the right people about the right people. 
or you have to tell the right people about the right company or about the right system or the tools or the product or the training or the system or the culture or the community or the support or the leadership or the mentorship or the events, right? So you have to find something every day that you like about someone or something. And that's what edification is all about. So that's how I would start a brand new member is to have them learn how to edify all the things that I mentioned, Lisa, whether it's their leader, uh, their sponsor, right? Learning the stories of other people, what has happened to them, learning the story of a company, learning the story of a tool, how it's worked in the marketplace, learning the story of our events, right? Learning the story of our culture, our community. So learning about the people that you're going to speak highly of is, is so powerful because when you learn how to edify other people, right, you're building other people up, right? You're building other people up, which in turn is going to build you up. And that's how you leverage other people's stories to create your own. And I have so much on this and I have so much to share with you, but I'm going to take a deep breath here so that you can jump in here and share anything that's coming up for you, Lisa, or chat. Are you guys still there? I'm sorry. I was muted. Um, I love the acronym that you came up with. Did you come up with this? The Edify acronym, Every Day I Find You? Of course I did. <laughs> of course I did. He's the man with the master plan, guys. He's the man with the master plan. Every day I find you. Let's kind of break that down. I really want to I really wanna break this down because even for myself, I have to be honest. And I'm sure if, if I'm thinking this, I'm sure there's other people think, thinking this too. And I consider myself kind of smart. <laughs> but when we talk about every day I find you, what exactly does that mean? Like what is the core foundation of every day I find you? Okay. So let me, let me break this down for you. When I was living in San Diego, California, uh, the year was 1990. Oh, well, I moved out there in 1995. I'm from New York originally, right? I grew up in your neck of the woods. And, um, you know, I lived on Long Island, which was to me was like living in a pillbox, <laughs> you know, just so, so little social space. So I moved down south. I went to school in Baltimore, Maryland. And then I moved out to California in 1995. Uh, to, right? I didn't know what I wanted to do. I didn't know how I was after. There was no blueprint for school success. All I know that it was that I was following the tip of my nose and a lot of people thought that I had no business starting a business and that's exactly what I did. I got into business when I had no idea what I was going to do tomorrow and there was no, you know, I didn't have a mentor, I didn't have a, a, a leader, there was nobody to really connect to. Um, you know, I learned from my dad to work hard and play hard. My dad was successful as a businessman and I wanted that kind of lifestyle where I could, you know, write my own paycheck. Uh, write my own calendar and, 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 and wake up when I was done sleeping. You know, that was what I wanted. I didn't want to have to work hard. I wanted to work smart. Okay. Well, I started a small business and what happened for me was I, I had to start learning about the industry that I was a part of. I had to start learning about a lot of the people that were in my industry um, and, and, th and these were the people that I was buying products from so that I could turn around and resell them. I was talking to people like printers to print up brochures for my new product that I had just created out of scratch. I had to talk to people who were at the, the you know, Kinko's copy store. They, these were people that I, were, I was connecting with in business. Well, one of the ladies that I was working with, I worked in a gym and I was a personal trainer uh, to, to kind of fund my, my little private label supplement business, right? I had this idea that I was going to make a product and I was going to sell it all over the world. And I was working in the gym as a personal trainer at that time to make some money so I can pay my bills and pay my rent and fund my new little business that I created in, in my one-bedroom apartment. Well, one of my clients, her husband introduced me to network marketing. The year was 1995. Now, I had seen network marketing when I was in college, and I actually bought a bunch of product uh, because I saw, the, I saw the plan, right? I saw that when I, I – the very first time that I saw – that I can make $10,000 a month and do it without a boss and no, and no job and no commute and no salary and no vacation days and personal days and calling in on you know, many, many sick days so I could play hooky and figure out if I really wanted to be an employee for the rest of my life. I knew about network marketing. When I saw it again in 1995, I, I saw those circles on the whiteboard and I saw 
I saw freedom again. And I'd, I'd seen it in 1991, and here I am four years later, and I see it again, and my eyes lit up like saucers, and I said, oh my, this is exactly what I'm born to do. And so I had my little private label supplement business, but I got into this network marketing company, and immediately after I joined, I was introduced to the top earner in the local area. And she was a lady that had an office not too far from where I live, and she was making 250000 not per year, but per month. Wow. And she was like a goddess. You know, she was like this platinum blonde hair, big blue eyes, you know, just absolutely Southern California in every way. And she lived up on this house, you know, on the hill, you know, overlooking the ocean. She had a pool with like an infinity, you know, jacuzzi, and it just kind of all spilled into like the atmosphere. And her house was the house for Christmas parties and New Year's Eve and Easter and you know, Fourth of July, we would sit up on her balcony over the over the entire world and look out and watch fireworks from like every angle of the city. And you know, she was the one who I I was taught to edify. And so the way I grew my small business, you know, not not just my own business, but the way I grew my network marketing business, my very first successful venture was I told people that I was working with a local millionaire who was growing a business and a team right here in the lo local area. And she wanted to meet some sharp, motivated people that were inspired to move the world and people that wanted to change the lives of everyone around them. And so I would tell this lady's story. Her name was Sherry. And I would tell Star Sherry's story. And her story was that she was a broke kindergarten teacher and she was looking for a way to take care of her son. She was a single mom. Her son was in daycare. She was a kindergarten teacher and she was making $20,000 a year is all. And I went out and told Sherry's story about how she started as a broke kindergarten teacher and she wound up becoming a millionaire in about five years because of this business that she's a part of. And she wants to meet new people in the local area. And so I would bring people to her office or I would bring people to the local meeting or I would bring people on the, um, you know, to the, to the event so that she can, uh, they can meet her. And I would introduce people to her and I would tell her story over and over and over and over again. And she would do the presentation. She would do the training. She had a team of trainers that she would bring into the office or she would bring onto a conference call or onto a webinar. At that time, that's when webinars were just really kind of picking up their steam, right? Back in the like, you know, mid to late 90s. Um, the, t the first technology was actually chat rooms with a video camera that you would put on top of your PC and you would get a video of just the person that's doing the speaking and it was very old school. This is when Yahoo chat rooms and AOL was you know, super hot back in the, in the late 90s but that was how we built our businesses and it worked because the more I told that story, the more people joined my team and before I knew it, I kept doing that over and over and over again. Within 90 days, I was making $8,000 a month and now I had a story of my own. And now my team was telling my story. They're like, hey, you should check this guy out. He was a personal trainer working in a gym, making $25,000 a year. And now he's making $8,000 a month, right, working part-time from his home out of his little 400-square-foot apartment right at the beach. And he's going to be doing some, some uh, expanding in the area. And he's looking for some people that want to make some extra money and work closely with someone who's going to you know, be able to teach them how to do it. And so now I started telling Sherry's story. Now my team is telling my story. And then people on my team started developing a story where they're making $2,000, $3,000, $5,000 a month telling my story. And the next thing I know, their people are now telling their story. They're making $8,000 a month. I'm making $18,000 a month. And Sherry's making $300,000 a month. And so we're just telling stories, who are telling stories, who are telling stories, and that's how you become a success in this business. Wow. <laughs> I love it. It's, it's like the ripple effect, basically. Yeah, it's, it's, it's about finding something that you like about somebody else. Now, to me, Sherry was a superstar. She was so successful. She had it all. She was charismatic. She was beautiful. She was fun. She was funny. She was lighthearted. She was loving. She was giving. So I could say all of this in one story when I talk to a prospect. I could run an ad. I can meet somebody out locally. You know, back then we weren't really using the Internet to generate traffic yet or leads. It wasn't like the, the Google Frontier had kind of you know, broke wide open yet. Nobody was doing a lot of paid traffic. So I was buying leads, fax, uh, fax, you know, leads would be faxed to me from a lead generation company. And I would get on the phone and I would pick up this little phone that I have right here and I would be like, hello, you know, I'd be dialing for dollars, right? 
and I'd be making calls and I'd be talking to people and I'd be collecting names and numbers from the local area and just networking, networking, networking. And next thing I know, you know, it was my story they were telling. So it was it, it worked out beautifully. And when you find something every day that you like about somebody and you get, you know, and, and that person is somebody that you look up to and respect and you know you admire them because of how they work or how they uh, conduct business. You know, you tell their story enough times, and you'll cre create your own very quickly. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, and what's what's awesome is that you basically built your entire business at that point. You know, you created your up to eight, ten thousand dollars a month or whatever it was at that point. Just basically. Um, using one person's success story over and over and over again. The great thing about what we have here, whether you're inside of our system, the Empower Network, or whether you're in whatever network marketing company or whatever it is that you do, we, I'll just use Empower Network as an example, we have so many success stories inside of our uh, system that you cannot run out of success stories. And what I love about that, first of all, what I love about what, what Aaron said was that he just basically used the success story he had, you know, that was the only success story he had at that point. And just by hearing that, which was, which was by the way, just so powerful because if he created, you know, a, a five-figure income uh, from home, just sharing one person's success story, imagine what you could do for your business when you have like five or ten or twenty different stories because people want to see the proof, right? People won't want to just hear the same stories over and over again. People, if, if we were just to get out there and just share, constantly sharing different stories and creating marketing campaigns around that story, imagine what, imagine what your business would look like even if you just got started today. Right. So the fact that you actually just heard Aaron's story or a, a piece of it back then, um, you can actually take that story and then go out there and share it. So now with that being said, what I want to ask you now, Aaron, is how do you share the success story and then segue into your product, your business opportunity, or whatever it is that you have going on? What is the process of segueing into getting making a sale um, after sharing the success story right well the key to to the whole story is that you want to put your prospect your lead right your guest or or you know somebody that's that's looking you know to to generate income if you're doing a, a make money offer or flow let's just say the product I mean I've been in so many companies over the years Lisa where the product had a great story so I would tell a story of the product. Oh my God! I met this lady who just lost 30 pounds in in you know in 60 days on this product, and she didn't change her diet. She didn't change her exercise. She's taking a product that's just changing people's lives because it's helping them shed weight, and 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 it's just melting off them like hot wax, you know. And so you know I would tell the story of the product, or I would talk about how um, you know somebody's health change, right? Um, I knew somebody that was very sick at one time, and he was diagnosed with stage. Uh, you know, stage three uh, melanoma, and he drank this, you know, botanical juice, and now he's living a very normal, active life, right? And if and if and if if I know that the person I'm talking to is someone who takes an active interest in their health, right, and they're the right person to to bring this message to, well, then all I have to do is get that person in front of a presentation, right? You never want to be the message; you just want to be the messenger. So learning how to put the right person in front of the right message at just the right time. Okay, that's what marketing really is. Putting the right person in front of the right message at just the right time. And learning how to, you know, edify and tell the story of the success of a person or a product. Like I mentioned earlier, it could be you could tell the story of a community. Like for example, our community, Lisa, right? Our community started out with, you know, two guys with a vision. 37 people that had belief, right, in a stinky hotel room back in October of 2011, and here we are now, a community of over 300,000 members, right, 40,000 of us who actually work together to grow a business, and we've got, you know, we've paid our members or our affiliates now over a hundred million dollars in commissions in just the last 31 months, right, and 
you know, that community has now seen over 30,000 people walk across the stage at a live event, right? We've had, we've had about eight or nine live events, maybe 10 now. We're going to have our 11th one here in two weeks in Charlotte, North Carolina. We're, we're, we're unveiling what I consider to be the biggest play in the history of online marketing. And we're not only just online marketing, but we're about to unveil something that is going to change people's lives, thousands of more people's lives over the next 30, 60, and 90 days as we lead up to our next live event, which is going to be in mid-October. in October. And so, you know, we work from event to event. So what I'm telling you is about our community. And the truth is, is that, you know, a rising tide raises all, all ships, right? A, a rising tide lifts all the ships. And so if you want to become one of those successful people, you want to be a part of our community. You want to tap into the power and the strength of the people. It's called crowdsourcing. In our business, it's you know, it's it's a, it's about being. You know, so you can't stick your little toe in the water without being drawn into the river and just being completely submerged in the culture here. And so, you know, you find something that you like about one of these aspects of your business, and you tell that story every day, and you tell it to as many people as possible, and you make sure that you know you put the right person in front of that message at just the right time. Now, how do you get somebody started? Well. There's two ways to get people started. Number one, okay, you ask them what did you like most about what you saw, or you ask them how soon are you going to get started? You know, how soon do you want to be a part of the team? How soon do you want to get started on our product? How soon do you want to get started using this 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 system? How soon do you want to get started getting trained? Right? Okay, that's one way to do it. The other way is that we do it through automation, right? We send follow-up messages. We use leverage. We tech. We use the technology, and we send out broadcast messages. And, and, and promotions and we send out follow-ups that are done for us like today was my birthday and I had three messages scheduled to go out while I was out doing my own thing and I looked at my, my cell phone you know every few hours I would see a message go out and I'm like haha that's so cool I scheduled this two days ago so that I can enjoy my birthday today without even sitting in front of my computer I haven't been on Facebook at all today except for maybe three minutes of the whole day and that was to communicate with you Lisa and one other <laughs> friend of mine uh, but you know we use the automation, the technology, and the leverage of the internet to create sales. And when you put that right person in front of the message at just the right time, it's magical what can happen. We have people that make thousands of dollars a day, all online, part-time, and without picking up the phone. So that's how it works, Lisa. And I want to share something really quick because this is so powerful. Um, and I have to get going here. I, have to, I only have a few more minutes, so I want to wrap up. I've always taught that there are three phases to success. Okay, there's three phases to success, and this works perfectly with what we're talking about tonight, how to leverage other people's stories to create your own. Okay? Phase one is using other people's stuff, right? using their lead capture pages, using their stories, using their sales videos, using their follow-up messages, using their broadcast messages, and using their swipe, what's called swipe copy, where you can actually swipe somebody's you know, uh, emails or broadcast messages. And, and using it as your own, as long as you change the links and make sure that you personalize it to yourself, using other people's stuff is the fastest and you know, you know, points of column. In other words, it's the fastest way to leverage, uh, um, you know, other people's success to create your own. So that's phase number one: is using other people's stuff. And I did it all the time, Lisa. When I first got started on the internet, I would tell the story of my sponsor. I would tell the story of the leader of the company or the biggest earner in the company and I would just tell that story over and over and over and over again every day until I created a story of my own which I shared before. So phase one, using other people's stuff. Now you want to personalize. So if you want to create your own social media brand, you want to create a fan page, you want to create your own brand around yourself, but make sure to lift other people up and raise other people up by edifying them and by using their sales tools, their videos, their audios, their DVDs, right? Whatever it is you're using, send people to their stuff. Let them tell a story and make sure that there's a way for your prospect to buy from those pages that is directly connected to you. So your affiliate link, um, a link to your website, a link to your lead capture page, a link to your blog. Make sure that it's all customized. And that's the easy part. You just have to go in and make a few changes. And you'll learn the technology, trust me. If you just go in there and tinker around a little bit, You'll figure out how to do things, and we all have tutorials that teach you how to do the little technology you know, uh, steps that you need to make sure that you get the credit when people buy from 
the pages you send them to. So step one, use other people's stuff, right? Step two, right, once you learn how to use other people's stuff, step two is about selling and branding yourself, right? That's where you become the leader that other people are looking for. That's where you have your own headers on websites and you have your own blog posts or, you know, on your, or headers on your blogs and you have your own video pages and you have your own hangout pages like this and you have your own, you know, maybe some tools and systems of your own that you create to help brand you, right? You buy domain names that have your name in them and you buy, um, you know, you, you start putting your own name out there. So instead of just edifying other people, now you're edifying other people, but you're a voice of authority. You become like the little guy in the white lab coat that people will listen to because you have enough success sharing other people's story that you've now created your own. So phase two is, again, you learn how to sell and market yourself, okay? Stage three or phase three is where you can sell anything to anyone anywhere in the world, okay? And this means that you're now free to start creating multiple streams of income. You have a large enough audience where their interests may be split, and so you might have a primary business, you might have um, an affiliate business, you might have some tools or some systems or even some products of your own. Maybe you become like Lisa or Chad and you become really, really good at you know, certain aspects of your business. Maybe, maybe you're really good at you know, pay-per-click marketing or maybe you're good at email marketing or follow-up or maybe you're great at using Instagram or YouTube and learning how to drive traffic and generate you know, leads and make sales that way. Now you can market anything to anyone anywhere in the world and you've conquered phase one, right? You've used other people's stuff and you still can, right? Because remember, let other people do the heavy lifting for you. Stage two is where you start marketing and branding yourself, really giving yourself uh, more credibility in the marketplace so that when you edify other people and tell their stories, you make that much more money. And then step three is where you can just go out and write your own paycheck and never, ever, ever have to worry about money again. So three phases of success, Lisa and Chad, and you know, I, I went through all those phases. It took me, you know, a little bit of time to, you know, really put them in perspective. But I look back now over my career over the last six years, you know, primarily over the last six years, um, I've been able to generate multiple, multiple, multiple six figures. I'm coming up on a, or, or seven figures. I mean, I'm coming up on my, my fifth million here uh, in, in six wow. years. And it's changed my life. It's changed my family's life. And it's changed the lives of thousands of my you know, friends and, and, and family of business partners all around the world. So it's just been absolutely incredible to, to see what's happening because I made a decision to click the link below a video just like this six years ago. And as a result of it, thousands and thousands of people live a free life now where they get to do what they want, when they want, and where they want with the people they want most. And they spend less time doing things that they like least, and they get paid what they're truly worth, which if you think about it, there's really no limit to what you're worth because you can expand constantly every single day. You can get better and better at what you're doing and change the way people think all around you. And that's what I'm here to do. And I know that's why you're here, Lisa. And that's why Chad's here. And that's why all the thousands of people that are watching this are paying close attention right now because we're on a mission. And this is far bigger than just making money. Although the money's great and you can do great things with it, but it's really about changing the way people live their lives and spreading the word of freedom. Um, and that's what Empower Network is all about, and that's why I came to this company, and that's why I stay here. So that being said, Lisa, I can't thank you enough for having me out. Um, I could go for hours. I know, you know, we only have a bunch of people coming over right now uh, to celebrate my birthday, and uh, I appreciate you for bringing me out here tonight. Well, I wish you could hang out with us for another three hours or five <laughs> hours or whatever. <laughs> Hey, but thank you so Charlotte. much. I'm speaking in Charlotte. Thank you so much, Aaron, for hanging out with us. It's always an honor to be in your presence. Um, and, and I look forward to seeing you again in Charlotte. I know we met face to face at the last event um, that I was at. Where was that? I can't even remember now off the top of my head. But <laughs> but I just want to thank you guys. Guys. Aaron has one of the most powerful training videos I've ever seen in a really long time okay inside of our system so Aaron I just want to thank you for your leadership I want to thank you for the training that you provide to our community um, and the training that you provided to us tonight 
And um, you know, I, I just look forward to to you know just keep following you and you know sharing your success story with other people so that they can see that this is real. You know, you're real. You're a bit, you're a real person from New York, just like me. You know, you started from the ground zero and now you're here, right? You started from the bottom, now you're here. And you know, if we just just basically lock arms and hold each other's arms and just move on this path to success with each other, you know. Anybody can create a lifestyle that they really, really want when they make a decision to do that. So I want to thank you, Aaron. Happy birthday. Enjoy your evening. Thank you so you have much. Friends. I know you have friends to go hang out with. So I will see you on Facebook. Me and, yeah, me and, Chad, are gonna, me and Chad are going to hang out here for another 30 minutes. Right on, guys. Thank you so much. Appreciate you both. Love you all. See you soon. Love you too. Time. Bye. All right, guys. Take care. Hi, everybody. I said hey. All right. So here we have Chad. Wow, that was awesome. Every oh, day God. I find you. Mm. I I'm love gonna it. I'm going to share that with my team. I absolutely love that. But all right, so we talked about basically the ripple effect. Okay, picture picture you have a whole bunch of dominoes, right? And you're the first domino, and you've got like a bunch of dominoes here. Well, if you share the story, well, guess what? They share their story, they share the story, they share the, and it kind of acts like a, a domino or a ripple effect uh, where everybody is leveraging off of each other's success. And that's the beautiful, the beautiful thing, and that's the smart thing that you can do. Um, I actually want to share uh, a recent, uh, some, some, some recent success stories on my personal team. Um, remember how Aaron was talking about how he found this one woman who was like this rock star in his industry and he was going out there and sharing her story and um, he was just basically leveraging off of her story and then he started making eight, ten, twenty, whatever thousand dollars a month um, off of one story, right? And then all he was doing was basically having his new people go share her story, get them on the webinar, go share her story, right? That's basically what we're doing right here, right now. <laughs> it's basically what we're doing right here, right now. We have a bunch. I mean, if you look at the chat, I don't know which window you guys are on, um, but we're on the main prosperity page right here. And now we have over 1,500 people watching us live from all over the world. Okay, from all over the world. And a lot of those people are on our teams, they're inside of uh, our system here, our community inside of the Empower Network, and they're basically taking the link and they're sharing it. And that's how you leverage success stories. Because all we do here is teach and share stories and things like that. We teach the community about internet marketers, we sh uh, internet marketing, we share uh, success stories like Aaron's success story and basically the story that I'm going to share with you right now. Actually, I have two stories that I want to share with you. The first one is the most recent. The most recent one was I was basically doing uh, hangouts for my team and I just basically told my team go out there and bring 20 people in front of me so that I can share my story and share some value with them. Okay, I did four hangouts and on each and every hangout my team was getting new members on their team why is that right why is that these are brand new team members that were just getting started that don't know anything about the business yet yet when I tell them go get people on the hangout basically like the one that you're on right now right go get people on the hangout let me share the story let me do the training I have more experience than you. What happened? Why does that model work? Because I know how to close. They don't. Not yet. They don't know how to close yet. So they invite people to come and watch me and then I'm basically sharing the story, sharing the training, giving them a call to action, giving them the bonuses, whatever it is that I have to do on a webinar and then my team is now producing. And that's what we want in this industry. We want our team to produce. We want our team to have success, right? And if you can't have your team have success, then you use somebody else who can have who has success already and you leverage that person to get your own success, right? So now that my team is inviting people to the webinar, right? 
they're producing, right? They're actually making sales in their business. They're producing, right? Now, if they keep doing that, you know, remember, remember Aaron, when he was sharing his story, he kept sending people to her webinar. He would just send them to her webinar, and all of a sudden, he had a story. He had made $8,000 or whatever it was. Uh, he had his story, and now his new team members that were coming in at, from that point on that he had a story were now sharing his story. So I'm helping my team, right? Basically, on this hangout tonight, basically this, the same thing, right? I help my team get success, right? I help them create a success story by getting them results, by helping them get results, right? And now, the more and more results that they get, they can go out and say, hey, this is what I've done. I've generated this amount of leads, I've made this amount of sales, I did this and this and that. You know, I had a success story with this, a success story with that. Here's my story. I have a story. Let me share it. And now all of their new members are sharing their story, right? And so it becomes leverage the story, create your own team duplication. Create the success story or share the success story, leverage a success story, create your own, create duplication. And that's the process, right? So that was one story I wanted to share. The second story I wanted to share was when I first got started, uh, I basically did the same thing. I went out there and I shared success stories because I didn't have my own until I started getting my own results. And you know what? It wasn't $8,000. I didn't wait until I made $8,000 or $10,000 to share my story. My story was, hey, guess what? I just generated my first five leads. Hey, guess what? I just made my first sale. Okay? Because there's people that don't know how to generate five leads. There's people that don't even know how to sign up one person. Never never had one sale in their business. Never made one sale in their business ever. So I don't care how little or how small the success is that you're creating right now, the results that you're creating right now in your business, whatever business that is, I don't care how small it is you can use that and start cutting videos about it, writing blog posts about it, putting it on social media, of course with income disclaimers. Um, uh, and speaking of income disclaimers, I know that we shared that Aaron is a multiple uh, uh, seven-figure income earner. Uh, results are not typical. Okay, results are not typical because he's not a typical guy. My results are not typical because I'm not a typical woman, right? Chad is not a typical guy either. Typical people uh, don't get the kind of results that we get. Okay, average people don't get the kind of results that we get. People who are um, open to learning, people who are open to growing as leaders, uh, as business professionals, as entrepreneurs who are willing to take risks, those are the people that have success. Those are the people that have that start creating their own success stories. So let me go back to my story and then I'm going to bring out Chad so that he can share um, a success story of his own. So, so the second one I want to share with you was when I was able to actually create my own success story where I was living in the Bronx in a tight two bedroom apartment. I was three months backed up in rent, had $150 to my name, uh, had $27 in the bank account, and I was struggling. <laughs> right? I was struggling. And in my first 90 days, I was able to make $25,000. And then within my first 10 months, I was able to move my family out of that two the tight two bedroom apartment in the Bronx into a big beautiful five bedroom three bath house here in Atlanta, Georgia. That was my story, right? When I got to Atlanta, I actually invited a few friends. It was very small and intimate, maybe about 50 people on a Google Hangout where I did um, uh, like a virtual um, housewarming party. Right, it was a virtual housewoman party, and people bought me gifts, and they sent gifts to you know my new house, my personal friends online. They sent me the gifts, and we literally had a a, a 
a virtual house party. Uh, not house party. Uh, what, what did I call it? Housewarming. Uh, housewarming party. Housewarming party. <laughs> and what happened was someone shared the link on Facebook. So it leaked. It leaked out. Someone shared that link on Facebook. And you know what happened the day after? On that hangout, on the uh, when I on that hangout, I basically shared the story that I shared you. It was about an hour long, so obviously it was more uh, in in detail. But I shared that story about how I went from struggling to moving into this house where I was having my virtual housewoman party, right? Someone shared my link. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it was someone on my team. I don't know who shared the link. But whoever shared the link was basically sharing my story. And it probably wasn't someone on my team uh, or inside of our system because we know to change the link before you share the story, right? Remember what Aaron was saying? You know, take what we have and then tweak it to your own, add your own links, add your own name at the bottom, add your own this or own that. This person didn't do that. So here's what happened. That person shared my story, but guess what? The following day, I made $4,000 from that video. <laughs> the following day, I made $4,000 from that video, basically by sharing my story. Why did that happen? How did that happen? Because the person who actually saw the replay of my housewarming party where I was basically sharing my story, they got inspired, they got motivated, and they took action. And they clicked on a link under that, underneath my video, and they purchased all our products, and I made $4,000. Never spoke to the person. Matter, as a matter of fact, this happened when I, when I woke up, I found that I had made $4,000, right? And that is the power of leverage. That is the power of automating your business like Aaron was just teaching us to do. That is the power because once you know how to um, you know, do the three steps, basically what he said. He said, number one, leverage. Number two, brand yourself. Right? By basically creating your own story. Now you share, number one is leveraging other people's story. Number two is branding yourself and sharing your own story. And then number three is basically writing your own paycheck. Well, that was the process. I was broke and struggling. Then I created my story and I branded myself. Somebody found that and I wrote my own paycheck. Simple process, guys. It's, it's, I mean, it's a very simple process. And anybody, if you're watching right now and you you just started your business today, guess what? You can go through that the, the three step: leverage other people's success story, brand yourself and create your own success story, and then write your own paychecks. Very simple process, um, but it takes work. I, when I say simple, I'm not saying oh, you know, you're just gonna get it done right away. This is a process that needs to be learned. And it's a good process to learn because as you can see, I've created a success story, Chad has his own success story, Aaron is a multiple millionaire, <laughs> right? He's created his success story, he came from nothing, right? So you can do this, you can do this, okay? Don't think that you can because we're all just people, okay? We're nobody special, we're just people. And we're people that actually make decisions to learn how to do this stuff. So unless you're open to learning how to do this stuff, you won't you won't get the kind of results that you're looking for. It's really that simple. So with that being said, uh, Chad, Chad, I want to introduce you guys to uh, Chad, and I can never pronounce his name. Oxstunt. Uh, he can he can correct me in a second, but. <laughs> My good buddy Chad, uh, we've we've been friends on Facebook for some time. We actually got a chance to meet at one of our offline events. I don't even remember what event what what it is, but he's actually a superstar on my team. He's rocking his business. He's getting results. He's one of the leaders on our team, and I am just super excited to have him here to share whatever he has to share uh, with you guys tonight. So, Chad, go ahead and take it away. Thank you so much, Lisa. I, I appreciate you. Um... I got two stories uh, to tell. One uh, edifying Aaron, going back to the beginning of this. So 
the, when I first met him was in Orlando at one of our events, and we're hanging out at the bar after the event way late at night, and we're just having a conversation, and I was telling him how I was swiping his emails and how he was kind of tricky about how he uh, would put two lines and they'd be two separate leaks. And and I was like, I stopped myself in the middle, like, like I was kind of embarrassed that I was like going on, but he was like, no, 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 like continue. You know what I mean? Like he, he really wanted to hear what I was saying. It was really, really cool to feel that from somebody that they actually cared. Um, and I only had this conversation with him for about five minutes. And then the next day, and this is kind of funny, uh, we're, I'm coming out of the bathroom and I'm like, uh, and Aaron's going into the bathroom. And I was like, Hey, how's going? He's like, how's it going, Chad? I'm like, Whoa. Dude's a freaking multimillionaire. We had a five-minute conversation, and he remembered my name, like, that quick. That's just intense, like, how cool that is. Um, then, so my business was doing okay at that point in time, and then he actually launched a product inside of our system that took my business to such another level. It's ridiculous, and I believe Lisa mentioned it earlier. Like, my business went from, like, making, like, $150, $200 every customer I brought in to, like, way over $500, and I think I'm over $800 now um, just from his one product uh, that he released, and that's just phenomenal, obviously. Um, and then, so that's Aaron. Aaron's amazing, dude. Um, I actually live, like, down the street from him now, and I should be be at that party that he's having, but I'm actually at home in Detroit uh, uh, visiting my family. So second story is Lisa, how freaking awesome is she to, I'm like just starting to have a little bit of success at, uh, right before Miami, and she was looking for somebody that was doing some stuff for these hangouts. And so I hit her up, and I like begged her, I was like, hey, you know, <laughs> let me on, let me on, you know, and she was cool enough to, like, bring me on and give me a chance to actually speak on these hangouts and give me, um, which I've, I've spun into a lot of coaching money, so thank you, no. <laughs> um, but, but for real. That's um, awesome, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, so thank you so much, and then the funny thing is that she didn't even make that one. And then maybe like a month or two later, we actually got to actually do a hangout together. Um, and so she brought, I, I didn't blow it up too bad. And uh, she actually invited me back for the second one. Once I watched the first one. No, I'm just <laughs> and now but, you're here again for the third time. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I'm just like, I, I, like, you guys can't get enough or like get rid of me or something. But anyway, so I have another three-step, uh, kind of like Arian's three-step, but it's going to be a little bit different. So... When I first started, I didn't know any of this stuff. I didn't know nothing. I was uh, doing door-to-door -door sales at the time, and I was sick of it because and maybe you've had a job where they tell you when you can piss and, like, do the thing. Well, I have a low, really, really, really low tolerance from that. Like, I'm, I call it, like, people ask me why I got into this industry, and I say I'm, um, I'm unemployable. Like, I'm essentially, I couldn't have a job if I wanted to because I have really like authority issues, and that's a lot of times why people start businesses. Uh, um, so then I got the glimpse of, you know, the idea of pipeline money and like this and that. And um, But anyway, so I'm working in this door-to-door, -door and this guy that was running the office was making a shit ton of money, right? He was making a ton and ton of money, but he was not happy with his life, right? And this was like the, this was like really the pinnacle of where you could be in your industry, and if you could think of like whatever you do, uh, the pinnacle of what you're at is your boss that's up there. Is he really happy with his life? Because that's where you're going, right? That's, I mean, maybe if you make it, right? And so I was always like uh, expiring to be that person, and I could tell he just wasn't happy. He had a drive from Tampa to Orlando. So, anyways, they started giving me like, like bringing the noose in real hard and like telling me what I could and could not do, and I can't handle that. Um, so I basically told them to screw off, um, and I did it at a weird spot where they owed me a bunch of money, and I was could have put myself into like some really deep jeopardy. And I knew I wanted to be online. I knew I wanted to do internet stuff, and I saw Power Network before, 
and I was like, I want to join this now. I want I want to do this. I should wait until it's the, the right time, until I'm back into my home state, because I don't I live in Michigan, but I was in Florida, and I sh should wait until I'm comfortable and maybe have some money that I could actually do some stuff with. I should wait to do whatever, but I didn't. I took the last $150. I'm living in a hotel, waiting for them to pay me the rest of the money. And I should have took that $150 and really bought a plane ticket back to Michigan, but I didn't. I took that money and I invested into my business and I I got in. So well, I got in and I, I kind of started having some success, but I didn't really know what the hell I was doing. And then I finally got the master's course eventually. And it basically told me to... Um, to show off other people's successes when you first, when you have no success, even though I had a little bit of success, and this is what I'll recommend to you. Find somebody in your team, find me, if you want to join me now, if you want to join Lisa now, or Aaron, or whoever invited you, the thousands of people that, just join us now, and you can use our success until uh, you can start having some success. You, you, you're you going to actually use our success to get leads, you probably to start off with, right? Um, and these hangouts are lead suckers. Like seriously, I just did a, um, a event invite, and I'm sure half of the people on my friend like hated and whatever. I don't really care, but you can unfriend me. Um, so, anyways, <laughs> but the other half love it because they freaking go to my events, they freaking opt in, and I just get like 20 to 30 leads just from these events. And because they're super valuable, they somebody went to one of them, and then. And then they, so whoever puts these on, write really, really, really good copy for the events, and so you don't even have to make up your own stuff, and it just sucks up leads like crazy. So now, if I was new, I could take those leads and then go show them on Facebook and say, hey, check this out. I know how to get all these leads. Now opt into this capture page and see what I got going on, and then, um, and then somebody's going to sign up. They're going to make a decision to get in, and and then you're going to make money, right? And then so you kind of went from showing off somebody's success to get those leads to showing off your own success to get leads, to get sales. Then you're showing off that you're making a little bit of money. And then this is the cool, this is the really cool thing. This is like a third step in it. I know that seemed like four steps, but it's really three. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> So the third step is when your team, when you get someone in your team and they start having success. I got a guy in Sweden that is working his ass off to get here to Charlotte. Um, so if you, this guy's coming from freaking from Sweden to Charlotte. If he can do it, you can do it, right? Right. So, um, so I he had a uh, uh, what did he have like a four thousand dollar week? or like a couple of days, like a three day period, income disclosure, Morgan's a badass, so not necessarily are you gonna come <laughs> in here and have four thousand dollar days or whatever. But he did. And so I took because this is the thing, people there's different types of people, right? There's people that actually care about their team that are in this industry, that actually want to build a team and really care about if they have success. And then you have like d bags like that are just marketers. I mean, I mean, then I, you know that's what they want to do. But and I shouldn't say d bags because there's probably really cool ones out there. They just they just they're sending out uh, things and they don't really care if their team really has success as long as you pay them, right? And so people watch that kind of stuff. They see what you're uh, what you're posting and. They'll join you. There's certain people that'll join you when you start making money, but then there's a certain people that are like, I'm not gonna join them until I can see that they can actually help me have success, right? So they're waiting for you to be able to edify your team. So I give up like Patrick, my new guy Patrick, never had any marketing experience at all, never did anything like this. Um, He's working a full-time job. The guy works like 60, 70 hours a week, freaking driving up and down California, uh, doing some sort of something or other. Uh, I, I knew this at one time. I apologize. Uh, forgive me. Um, but he made his first sale the other day. 
And I was so pumped for him because I and I threw it out there and everybody is super excited for him and I, you know, put my link in there because people see that my people and my team are having success and they want they want because they're like, Wow, so he must have taught him something that ha got him success, right? So Lisa's team has success, so she must, and she edifies the people in her team so that, that they're having success, so she must have taught them something that, and that's what that experience uh, will kind of separate you from the pack, right? So you, you just kind of leverage it up. And so, like, let me give you this. Um, success is not a rocket ship. It's a staircase, and we kind of did that step, right? You first, you take, you're in my team. Even if you join Aaron, we're all in the same team. If you join Lisa, we're all in the same team. We'll be chilling in, in our group, or whatever, and you'll, and you'll probably see us when you come to Charlotte. Um, so we're... So we're one big happy family. <laughs> so if you see my success, mm -hmm. and you share that, and you get a sale or you get leads from that, I'm super pumped for you. Actually, I got a guy named Justin um, that is the funniest thing. So my very first webinar right before Miami, um, I did, it was on some Craigslist training, right? And so I'm getting, I got a ton of feedback from that. And I, the best feedback that I got was this guy, I'm in the top 200 meeting, and this guy comes up to me, and he's like, hey, man, we got to do a video. And I'm like, all right. I'm like, why? And he's like, dude, I watched your, and this was three days prior to Miami, of this top 200 uh, meeting, right? And he's like, we got to do a video because I did your training on Craigslist, and I got four sales in this last three days using your training. Yes. <laughs> like, so, and he, like, made me, he, we did a video together, and we did a bunch of stuff. And the funny thing was, is later that day, he comes up to me and goes, make that five. <laughs> and I'm like, you have <laughs> five sign-ups from the training that I did. And I'm super pumped. He's, I don't make any money off that. I wish I did. But I didn't. Uh, and so, but I'm but the, sure but the fact that someone took your story yeah. and created a, a success story of their own, that in and of itself is, it's just a good feeling. Yeah. It's a good feeling. Yeah, no, trust me. And I've had people come up to me and like, they see these, these prosperity hangouts and they are like, I got in, I decided to click the button and join because of something you said. I saw right. a thing, I decided to get in because something you said. I, it, and I try to pin them down on what a, specifically I said. They're like, I don't know, I just, I felt like you cared or I felt like you could, like your team could help me. And like, I think, you know, we actually hung out with this kid, like this guy, I think his name was Josh. And he said, um, yeah, he like drove us to this, house in, uh, in New Orleans, and he's like, yeah, I, I got in because of something you said on the prosperity hangout. I'm like, sweet. I'm like, which one? And he's like, he's like, that, like the second one. And I'm like, wow, that's so cool. Um, so, so it just feels good to be able to show people stuff and them have success, right? And so, stepping stone, you just... Use our story, use our success. Like, seriously, we're all, like, it doesn't matter if I'm not in your personal team. Because, really, if you're new and you say, look at my new, my teammate <laughs> just made $4,000, man, somebody in your family might go, holy crap, this guy got somebody in their team, and then he just made $4,000, like, thinking that I'm, like, in your team. Like, like, like yeah, I, you sponsored me. Like, I don't know, you just be kind of vague, whatever. And people are like, oh, holy crap, they're on the thing, and they decide to get in. And I'm like, and then you get a sale because of my success, right? So so share successes anytime you see them on Facebook and say, hey, look at my, what my team member does. Because when you, when people, and it's funny, I even do this. Like, if I see somebody, 
that I used to know wasn't having success, and they're sharing some, even if they're in some other company now, and they're like, hey, look at my teammate just had all this success. I'm like, wow, they must have learned something over there, or they must have figured something out, or broke through. They're finally having success with this new deal or whatever, and their, their person just made all this money. And I'm like, holy crap, I'm so excited for them. So I always like those. I was like, like, you know what I mean? So, um, so yeah, that's, uh, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Any questions? Yes, absolutely. Well, we actually, uh, we're way over time. Uh, we actually have another hangout that we need to attend, Chad. Oh, yeah. so, <laughs> so, so we have to go. But, um, guys, yes. I mean, listen, if you if you wanted to go ahead and share this hangout that you're on right now, it's very simple. Just click the, the button right below this video and you can run a test. Run a test to see if it will work. Okay, run a test to see if it will work. And don't just try it once. Try it over a period of, you know, 90 days, right? Get in our system by clicking the, the button right below this video that says lock arms with us. When you get inside, find go into our training site and go and find the, the link to this Hangout. Go share that Hangout. This page that you're on right now is going to be coded to you so that you can go ahead and get the results that you're looking for. Right? It's re really a simple process. So with that being said, uh, we don't have that much time. Well, we don't have any time left. We're actually overdue now because we got to jump on another hangout right now. But we want to thank you guys for hanging out with us tonight. Uh, we hope that you go and share our success stories. Find somebody else's success stories. If you're in another, if you're in a network marketing company or whatever it is, and you know, just go in that company and dig for success stories and leverage them because you can use those success stories to create your own and if you don't know how to generate leads if you don't know how to make sales if you're not having team duplication then you need to click on the button right below this video and get involved in our community because that's what we're all about we're all about teaching you how to build your business online no matter what business that you're in you know we welcome you with open arms we're not here to say oh you can't promote this and you can't promote that and you can't do this we are you can have 50,000 businesses if you want to we're gonna teach you how to build those businesses that is what we we do okay that's what we do and we're here to help you so go ahead click that button below if you want to get involved with our community and you know meet me and 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 Chad and Aaron and all of the other leaders inside of uh, our community we are here waiting for you and we'll see you inside thank you so much for watching we'll see you next week Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Time see you then have a good night everyone